One percenters, welcome back, Coach Tommy Nuggets, Pelicans, teaching tape. Let's roll. No Zion. Joker's back. Aaron Gordon looking like the predator. JV Valanchunas. Jackson Hayes, little sideshow Bob with the haircut. That dude can jump. Jamal. Run through the catch. <coughs> Go watch that video, teaching, thinking basketball with Giannis. Run through a pass. Be ready on the catch. Don't catch and then make moves. Alley oop. Oh my god, I missed it. Oh, jab, got him. High release. Y'all need to work on it, especially if you're short, really short. And really tall. If you're really short, you work on that high release to get your ability to shoot it. If you're really tall, it keeps you from bringing it down to where all the average and small people want to get it. Good job by Aaron Gordon. Falling asleep, hiding into the corner, right? You get the long help. Like, why the hell are you coming rotating early to double off Joker? Um... Great recognition by Gordon. That's the uh, the power of Joker pre-rolling or pre-zoning. Who who would have called a travel on that and pick up basketball? Good lord, CJ McCollum. That was that's worse than like eighth grade tele telegraphing it past like two hands, staring, um, bounce pass. <laughs> that's comical. That's a Ooh, ooh, ooh. CJ, one of the hardest one on one guards. Let's see his little skill bag here. Has he? Under the leg, snatch, foot switch, one dribble. Uh, that's like a scissor step. A little bump. Accentuate the contact to make it look like you get fouled, but uh, it's just all ploy. It's a decoy to draw attention to yourself, to get the referee to look at you. If you get a foul, it's a bonus. If not, you get the defender to be a little timid in that split second, and then you can score. Nola. For any uh, Louisiana, Louisiana people, is it as dangerous as it sounds? If I wanted to go to Mardi Gras, oh my god, good little bump. Jiu-Jitsu, right? Feel the bump. Get the body leaning in one direction. Bang, roll off of him. You see him lunge forward. Chanchar. MPJ still out. I hope uh, everything is alright with his brother or, or what you guys told me. It's crazy. There are things bigger than basketball. As much as I love it. There are so many eyeballs on this dude, especially when he's this aggressive. He looks spin, baseline spin to get the guy to drop, coming back middle the whole time, right? Look at all the eyeballs. <laughs> you got every single dude in blue on him, thinking about what to do, reacting. Najee just slips into a little open spot. Dunk that thing, Najee, come on. Get on that Vertimax. Awesome. He's gonna shoot this. That's the shot that I told you he needs to work on, right? Repetition. He needs to like just make this 90% of the time. You see how smart he is. He walks out when I talk about unguardable spots and unguardable shots. 
right? You walk out, you clear out that whole side. Now you got the whole right side. If you wanted to drive, bump and run, right? Or you always have that. If you understand how to hit those angles. Um, the reason y'all can't do this spin move like Jamal Murray is you lack the mobility. Right here, boom. Right, coming across. Jumping like that off the back leg. CJ. Great rip, right? Great move right off the catch. These angles are so easy for professionals. You don't help off the strong side corner. You get them in a in a horn set. You double screen this full. <coughs> KCP goes under, and then you got Jeff Green with CJ McCollum with a full head of steam. CJ is not even that fast. Bruce Brown doesn't want to help. It's just how they're taught. I'm telling you guys, defense, they have to change some of the rules or great players will break the rules. If you drive and you, and you don't ever anticipate that corner guy coming, it's, it's too easy. Jose Alvarado, that sneaky dude. I don't think he's getting that many of those uh, little sneaky steals as he used to. NBA on alert. Where's Brandon Ingram? That fool's always injured too. CJ, what the hell are you doing? Want to get no sleep last night out partying? Like, what the hell? KCP's reading this thing the whole way. He's going over the top. Oh my god, CJ. Sit your ass on a bench. Right, so there's there's differences between playmakers and scorers. CJ's a scorer. He's trying to do all these things. He can pass, yes, he can create, but it's not as a mentality. Like these are such boneheaded uh two boneheaded turnovers. Got him, coach. Hand down, man down. Man, I would be on CJ's butt. He's the veteran. He's the leader. JV with the slick, hip, slick back hair. Nice little. Wonder what gel he uses. Beautiful timing. Um, this is just terrible defense. I mean, there's not much you can do about it, but if you provide this big old gap for this pocket pass, um, you get Joker here. Bottom guy doesn't leave the corner. Instantly, if that thing goes to the nail, this guy has to drop and guard the dunk and give up the three. Because <laughs> that dunk is 100%. Bruce Brown, corner three. Uh, what, 45%? Nice little hook pass. JV, high high release. High set. Tough left-handed floater. I mean, nobody can score on the... Uh, The Pelicans without Zion or B.I. other than C.J. kind of creating out everything on his own. K.Y.P. know your personnel. Right? What makes a great pass? Right time, right time, right target. Right? He doesn't have time to take another dribble. This window will disappear. If he takes another dribble, the window will shift in between CJ and whoever that is. So he's he's choosing to go to this window to trust that Brown can glide or either dunk this thing. So he can't dunk from there. So he chooses to float and long jump instead of high jump. Little things like this, man. If he chose that other window, 
Brown would run out of space, he'd have to go reverse, he might even get smacked, so his finishing options would be severely limited. He'd probably not even do the layup. <clears throat> ranch? I put ranch on everything. Great reverse layup, who is that? That boy got no lift. Who is that? <laughs> Look at this dude. Why are you putting your arms behind your back? Repost them. Spin baseline. You're a you're a bum, dude. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're a bum, dude. Did I not just call that whole play? You, you get a guy back here setting these uh, mini spains or these back picks in the paint. What the hell are you going to do about this? Larry Nance Jr. gets in the pocket or gets in the paint, right? It's basically like a zone. Then he sets a back pick on two guys. Like, great awareness by Larry Nance. Chanchor! They're calling him Braun on this telecast. You guys told me it's Brown, right? Jamal Murray needs to do a dribble release to add to his little spin game bag here. So if he releases here and, and catches on both foot instead of palm and pocket this ball to fake spin, he'll add another dimension to his turnaround game. <laughs> dribble release like Kobe. Reset your feet. Dribble release, land on two feet, then you can shimmy both ways. Hakeem Olajuwon, Kobe Bryant, KG. Desperado. Alvarado. Najee, how the hell did you do a pirouette in the air? How do you get twisted around and do a 360? That is some wild stuff I've never seen before in the NBA. Great right handed scoop. Get it up and quick. Use your speed. They run that set all the time. <sighs> How do you stop it, man? This is what will keep coaches up all night, right? You got to guard that first lob pass, and then you don't want Jamal Murray to catch this um, this three that he does all the time. So you got to come with the help. If you come with the help, he's gonna give it to Joker. Right, do you rotate Alvarado early? He's too little to do anything, so you might as well stay there on Brown. Joker catches this. Right, so again, you have to give up this Jeff Green three. So as soon as you see uh, Jamal Murray, you got to come help. You got to guard Brown because Alvarado's just too little. And uh, I don't even know who that is. Graham, he's too little anyway, so never mind. How do you guard it? Get taller, get bigger players. <laughs> Throw it down again. Give me a windmill. Two dunks off the left leg. Yesterday or last game, he had a nice dunk off the left leg. That's that's beautiful things to see out of Jamal Murray. Confidence, strength, bounce, all coming back. Beautiful no call. Beautiful no call. Gotta give the refs his credit sometimes. Brown. Ugh. Quick reset of the feet. That's an elastic shot. I gotta give uh, Aaron Gordon some credit for hitting that three. I mean, it ain't pretty. Coming after MPJ's minutes. There it is. Said it before, the nail's like 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me teach you how to summon. Why is it so hard to guard when, when uh, you have a really good playmaker at the nail? The nail, the free throw line, or the elbow, right middle of the free throw line. Okay, because you have KCP who has to look back, right? Guys have to look back, right? So if you look back, you won't be able to see the ball. KCP is in a decent spot because he can see both guys out of his peripherals. Jamal Murray has his head completely turned. Aaron Gordon has no idea where that guy is. He's in no man's land. And Jamal Murray has to guard two people. So if you're constantly have to turn your head, when you turn your head like this, guys can move. And they should move. And it leaves things like this open all day long. And then you throw up your hands like, God dang it. Desperado. Floater! If you're speedy, get faster. Stop doing the shifty shifty. Don't play like CJ McCollum if you're Jose Alvarado. Play to your strengths in terms of your own attributes. Too easy. Great pass. Passes it to the open spot. He doesn't float it, right? What makes a great pass? Right time, right time, right target. Doesn't have to be fancy, man. Simple. He turns his body a little bit more fundamental. Bounce passes here, right? To this outside hand. Joker, great position. Flips it up. No dribbles. Keep it high, right? What the hell is Alvarado going to do down there? Grab his sack. It's the little things, boys and girls. Nuance. Oh! Oh! Had a chance, CJ. Um, I don't know why we're bearing Alvarado back there, probably clearing up the stuff. Um, we're going to CJ the whole time. Corner three coming right, left. Very, very tough. Very close. Uh, Shot for Aaron Gordon, just leave his man. You don't got much time on the clock, so Aaron Gordon goes for it. Great job, and then he gets out of the way. Ugh, could he have faked Brown and took one dribble in? He had time, but if you're if you're catching this ball in the corner, unless you're Kobe Bryant and can make some crazy, crazy miraculous plays with this little space for your feet, this little time. It's got to go up, so uh, not the greatest design, but at least they got it. A look into their best player's hands. Until next video, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Oh, hold up. Y'all want me to... All right, hold on. Uh, how do I get to these uh, video uh, stats? So you all want to see stats and stuff now. Uh, fill me in what's up with you guys man let me know what's going on with you guys what do you want me to do help me make this channel better I'm trying my best within my skill set obviously trying to improve here um, I'm telling you what what I'm doing here I'm what the hell I'm trying to, it won't let me go to the box score for this Nuggets game. This is what you get with a live feed, man. <sighs> I'm 
show you what I'm show you what I'm dealing with over here, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, don't don't hang with me here. There's there's no point. All right, I'm going I'm going to try next time. Um, sorry about all that. I will try to figure it out. Until next time, take 40 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Help me out if you know how to use OBS. And uh, yeah, okay. Bye.